This is Jake. I'm here with Brian Hennessy for the second time on the podcast. The first time we chatted about his NFL story, the creation of the squat max, and then also the Henny attachment, and then just quite a bit more. Um, many people actually have told me that it's their favorite podcast that, they li- that they've listened to from the Garage Gym Experiment podcast. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a very good one, very entertaining Brian has is just kind of really raw. So that's, that's why I'm excited to have you on again for people who haven't, or I'll, I'll also mention, we'll link that into the description, that first episode. Um, if you haven't listened to it, make sure to go check it out. But Brian, maybe can you give us a, like a quick minute introduction of who you are? Yeah. And you're, you're right. I, I tend to be very raw. And uh, so I, I don't have a lot of, I don't have small dollar donations for my legal fund. So I'm hoping you don't, I'm hoping you don't get, get me in trouble today. Uh, but I'll, I, I, I'll give you my honest opinion. Well, yeah, real quickly. Um, I'm, I'm thrilled to, to make it back on your podcast again. Um, you know, basically my story is I was an overachieving NFL running back you know, in the nineties, uh, that's how far we're going back and, and sp- sports performance and lifting weights was, was really my, the way I made it to the pros. It was, it wasn't God given. It was more weight, weight room driven. Uh, I'd like to say, but, um, long story short is about 15 years ago after, after working in, um, clinical research, after getting cut by the Philadelphia Eagles, I had a midlife crisis that I wanted to open up a gym and uh, my, my, my two children were uh, like probably seven and 10 years old. So I, I told my wife, even if the gym absolutely sucks and I, I lose money, at least I get to spend time with our own two kids and train them. Uh, and the gym ended up being an amazing experience. I actually just sold my gym at the end of oh. December to, to my um, to my assistant coach. I, I basically gave it to him, but the gym... I, 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 I don't have the exact number, but we, we had over 20 professional athletes. These are kids that started with us in eighth grade, started with me in eighth grade and went on to play their sport professionally, o- over 20 mm-hmm. athletes. That's number one picks with the Cubs, uh, you know, women's professional soccer, pro pro uh, basketball players, a Harlem Globetrotter. So the, the gym ended up being an amazing, amazing experience. Uh, and in that gym, within that gym, you know, trying to maximize performance for my athletes, I ended up uh, patenting a couple of devices that as, as as we're here to talk about squat max and then the Henny attachment. And then th- there's my, my padded hip belt that that, that company with an R uh, borrowed and a few other companies like, like to borrow. Um, so that's, that's, that's where, that's where I came from. Okay, cool. And uh, the primary objective of this chat of uh, this follow-up is to discuss your recent partnership with Titan on the squat max. Um, before we get into that, could you also just give a quick explanation of why the squat max MD is a little bit different than all of the other belt squats out there? Yeah. I mean, I, I don't think I would be sitting here talking about it with you if, if it wasn't different, right? Obviously there's, there's a lot of, a lot of different belt squat designs out there, but this, I mean, I hate to, I don't want to over exaggerate, but this thing, it's, it's a, it's a magical, it's a magical device. It, it's, it literally is. It's, it's, you know, there's no other desi- design like it. Everyone else uses levers and cables, but I had known from my own back problems that you needed a pure vertical line of drive and you needed that load not to be anchored to a fixed point. It needs to be able to move left to right. It, it the other designs don't even make sense to be honest with you. I'm, I'm not even sure. You know, they're used by a lot of guys that are 30 years old with healthy knees and, and, and healthy low backs. I'm fortunate or unfortunate enough to have had a spinal cord injury, back surgeries and, and six knee surgeries. Uh, so when I was designing it, you know, I was coming from it not to make money, was to maximize strength and to be as friendly as possible, not only for the my own athlete's joints, but my old ass joints. Uh, I'm feeling better. Now at 50, and I know everyone says this, everyone's trying to sell a product. I can honestly tell you I, I'm feeling better at 54 than I did at 40. Uh, I, I actually, I ran a mile yesterday, first time in 25 years, and I have a spinal cord injury, so my my calf is atrophying. I have a lot of issues. Seven minutes, 12 seconds. 
and I ate like 10 mellow cups um candy before I, before I ran it. Uh, um so yeah that that's that's the difference with squat max and don't take my word for it like uh I, I posted about two weeks ago another power lifter uh I, I wrote the guy's name down if, if you get a chance to look him up John, Jonathan O'Brien Garcia he he's the probably the fifth or sixth power lifter in the last five years that directly credits squat max for for helping him break a world record. Mm. He, he was actually the 66 uh, kilogram weight class and he did almost four and a half times his body weight in the squat. So, you know, when, when you have these, you know, Vanel Gorilla, Eddie Cohn, you have the greatest lifters of all, all time seeing the same design benefit that I saw when I was creating it. You know, that pure vertical line of drive, that that freedom of movement, because everyone has different, you know, body sizes different squat techniques. Some, some people are more hingy. This thing, because it's free, it, 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 it conforms to your body versus you conforming to the machine. So there, there, there's been so many stories like this over the years. Like I think on our first podcast, I, I, I mentioned Raul Banez at, at age 41 yeah. for the Seattle Mariners. He tied the, the major league record for the most home runs. And he would use it literally under the dugout in between innings when he was DHing. So that that's how good that's how good he felt. So don't, I, I guess the best thing is don't take my word for it. Like th- these guys aren't, you know, I'm not paying any of these guys. The, in fact, that Jonathan Garcia, the the guy that most recently uh, was was singing the praises of it, he got it secondhand. He I, I've never even spoken to the guy. Um, so yeah, it's and it's 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 a legitimate thing because I think a lot of people were all trying to chase the fountain of youth. And what's the fountain of youth? Maintaining our vitality, our strength, and also longevity, like the, the ability um, to feel good. So that's why we're even talking about squat max, right? Because it's a little harder to to load. And that, that's kind of one of the things I, I touched on with Titan. Like these people saying, oh, it's vertical loading. It's all oh, it's impossible. Well, 150 to 200 pounds on this thing with band tension is going to be a hard workout for it for, is yeah. for those people. So I, I laugh at that. And then I see people complaining about vertical load. And then I see them doing forearm 15, 20 minutes of forearm work afterwards. Well, maybe that's why my grip and forearms are great because I can actually pull 45 off. Uh, <laughs> but the, the, the big, the big news, and I don't want to talk about this too much is uh, the New York jets have, have got five of these and uh, you know, Aaron Rodgers has been quoted as saying to a strength coach, he feels like he's in his twenties again when he gets off of it. So if God willing, they win a Super Bowl, um, you, I think Squad Max will, will, will explode to, into the professional and college game. The San Antonio Spurs are also now using it, and they got that that top that top draft pick. So everyone okay. sees that value of most people's hips are jacked up. We all sit so long, so this this fixes the hips, and healthy hips equals healthy low back. Hopefully, I didn't I didn't speak too much on that, but that's. That's the design difference, and that's why a company like Titan was was excited to work with me. Rogue had ha- I actually had done a brief partnership with Rogue, as you know, uh, and they they didn't market it like this. Titan sold out in in one weekend this past weekend because people have come. You know, I'm just one guy, so why why are so many people loving this machine? It's because I was lucky enough that some of the, the greatest lifters and the biomechanics guys like Stu McGill, um, Barbell, um, you know, Vizio, so, so many people see the value of this machine. Yeah, um, it's very clear um, based off of the just high praise from very influential people. And like you said, you haven't you haven't really asked them to do that. So that that's that's cool. Um, and then I would love to hear. E. e- how like how long ago was the squat max created can you give a quick overview of its history and maybe like the struggles you've had you i I know you've mentioned like you don't love the marketing aspect and you things like that and then how if you could bring up about how um the titan came into play that'd be cool it it, you know i i like i said my midlife crisis you know, I, the years are starting to run together, but I think I opened my gym up about 13 years ago. 
so within the first year of opening up my new my new venture to tra train high school and college athletes, I, I you know I started tinkering with with, with squat max. So probably so squat max in some form, some prototype form is, is for probably has been around for twelve years. Uh, so I'm not a, I'm not a I'm not a fabricator. You know I I was just a, a guy with losing his hair midlife crisis. Instead of getting a Corvette, opened up a gym. So that that's been a challenge, right? I I don't have I'm not a fabricator. Fortunately, um, early on in the process, uh, because I you know I can't I, I can't put together drawings. You know I I don't know how to use CAD and everything. Right. Else. I there was a a local Pennsylvania fabricator that does amazing job on on they do Jeep parts they do everything under the sun. They were willing to you know deal with a, a guy like me, you know, I, I didn't know if I was going to make five of them or I was going to make 500 of them, but they were willing enough to help me, you know, take my, my prototype and, 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 and get it to, to a workable machine. So my, my original device was a pretty big, was much bigger, you know, it was like four by four feet, you know, really thick and funny. We'll get to it later, but I'm looking about maybe going back to, to a more, uh, robust model that that, that that I may call the pro model. Uh, but getting back to the long story, you know, I didn't have marketing that, and you, that's my, my biggest problem. I I'm not very good at marketing. I'm, I'm not going to be Mark Bell, take off my shirt, jog, jog around. I'm, 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 I'm pretty, I'm pretty introverted to be honest with you. You, you may not know that by, by how I speak, but I'm, I'm not the guy that wants to, I, I, I I was a clinical researcher. I was always more in the, you know, the science, the serious part of thing and, 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 and always hated salespeople. But now I realize how, how important salespeople were uh, to, to, to my other jobs. And, and now this, so, yeah, you know, I had little, little hits along the way. Uh, you know, it was featured in powerlifting. Do you remember powerlifting USA, the magazine? Uh, it was actually a, a monthly uh, in print magazine that came out. It, it was around for a lot of 20 years. Donnie Thompson was on the front of it. They did an article article on Squat Max literally like 10 years ago. And I'm like, man, this thing's going to take off. Uh, but it never took off. Like Squat Max never took off. I um, you know, I all I had all I had for a marketing budget was really social media. And and the the God honest truth, seven years ago, maybe six year, years ago, vanilla gorilla, Blaine Sumner contacted me and he, this is a guy another guy he, he's an engineer by trade um he's trying to break world records he's trying to achieve you know the greatest squat totals he found it somehow he found squat max because mm -hmm. i literally had maybe 400 400 to 600 uh followers when vanilla gorilla found it uh soon as he saw it he understood it and he he, he bought one and start posting videos. I went from like 400 followers to probably 5,000, mm -hmm. maybe, maybe, maybe 10,000. I don't even know, but then it, then it snowballed, you know, not snowballed where I'm uh, got a limo driver waiting, yeah. for <laughs> yeah. but it snowballed that other top power lifters understood it right away. And then when he's saying this helped this, cause he had a bad back and a bad hip when he's saying this, I live by this machine. It's helping me continue to break world records and work around uh, his health issues. And again, like you said, he's unpaid, right? I, I'm, I'm not, this has all happened naturally. Um, so I guess Stu McGill, when, when I was, when I was, when I first invented Squat Max or created Squat Max, I don't know how much of an invention it is. Uh, it's not, it's not saving lives, but um I was, I had to do research studies. So within the first two or three years of creating this, I, I start send, sending it, uh, you know, c contacting a lot of local universities, actually any university that did uh, research studies on exercise. I, I said, I want, I got this new device. I'm pretty sure it works the lower, the lower body musculature, just like a barbell squat, but I need to know because if it doesn't, I'm, I'm going to, yeah. you know, I'm going to shit can it. I, I'm using squat max for my own daughter to try to prevent ACL tears. I want to know that it behaves like, like an actual squat. So that was the big deal. Like within three years of, 
uh, and obviously I patented this along the way. I, it's a patented device. Um, but within three years of, of creating it and patenting it, uh, Widener University did a research study on it. And I was thrilled because I, I it, it came out that it behaved just like just like a, a regular barbell back squat. And if people don't know the backstory, I was the first research study ever done on a bell squat. Doesn't make sense. Why would a one man, when you have all these companies making belt squats, uh, because they don't want to know. Because if you know the truth, it's not going to really fit your marketing. And I knew levers mm. and cables probably didn't work the glute musculature. The moment arm didn't allow it because they're, they're anchored to a fixed point. The knees have to, to go forward at some point unless you want to hurt your back. But anyway, um, other studies have been done. Matt Wenning had a study done trying to duplicate mine. It showed just like the pitch arc, the Matt Wenning uh, belt squat, they don't work the glute max. They don't work the glute med. They're, they're, they don't even work the VMO. Uh, and I, so squat max stands alone. Uh, and, and that's, but where I was going with this, I also sent one to Canada to Stu McGill because having my own back issues, I wanted to get his agreement that, that my device was the safest on the spine. Um, and uh, fortunately, Stu McGill now uses it. This is the number one guy on spinal biomechanics. He uses squat max in his own lab. Uh, so it, it, there's, it's, it, it's pretty crazy, but I think I've, I've, I've gotten lost on where we started. Oh, we're trying to go for the history. Where does squat max come from over the last 12 years? So yeah, all that, all the stuff was going place, science, but I knew I couldn't sell as many units. I've done great. Th mm -hmm. I want to thank everyone that's supported squat max. I, I probably sold 500 to a thousand squat max. Uh, over the last every year, over the last couple of years, which is a lot of units for a, a, a man that is a one man operation. The, you know, the, the, I pack every unit. I sh I, I, I take every order. It, it hasn't made enough money, obviously, where I'm hiring six to ten people. Uh, it, it's been a challenging challenging device because it is shipped by freight. Uh, so I always wanted to. I knew the science was good. It was supported by the top opinion leaders. So I just needed someone like Rogue or someone like that to actually take the best device and market it. That That's where I was trying to get to. So, you know, four or five years ago, uh, I did a deal with a similar deal with Rogue for my rack model, but I didn't realize it at that time. I think they didn't want me to do a deal with their competitors. I was talking to companies like Sorenex. So in retrospect, I think the, they might have eventually came around to selling it. But they just wanted to tie me down. They they didn't want. They were launching the Rogue Rhino. How are you going to go against a bell squat that kicks the Rogue Rhino's ass when it comes to performance and and joint protection? So fortunately, I had like a six month a deal with them that wasn't long term, and nobody leaves Rogue. But I was able to get out get out of that deal, you know, three or four, three years ago, whatever it's been, yeah. um, and, and doing real well. Like uh, all the all the attachments that I've added to squat max to, to add more utility that that's go, that's going real well but about a year and a half ago i heard uh you know the titan ceo on a on a on, on a on a podcast or, or somewhere and i said well titan's really a, they're not the evil empire it's just taking people's products and 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 inter ignoring people's intellectual property they actually seem like a pretty good company and if they can make this at a discounted price, because that's what everybody, that's my biggest challenge. Everybody wants products as cheap as possible. Um, and so I'm like, man, if I can partner with Titan, this means bigger asses for the masses. <laughs> um, so uh, I sent Titan maybe a message about a year ago. This has been in the works for a while. They were just going right. to make my rack model. Uh, but then they caught me on a bad moment when, Probably some freight companies destroyed my squat max units on delivery and 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 weren't uh paying me back on the insurance claim. So they gotcha. said, You want to you want can we can we do a can we quote can we quote um also doing the standalone with you? So I'm like, yeah, go ahead, let's 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 see what we can do. So um that that's that's how this Titan deal came gotcha. to and, so uh, did did you reach out to them first? And if so, did you reach out to other companies as well? Or was it just Titan? It was just Titan because uh, ha having already been um, burned uh, a little bit from, from my dealings with the other company. And I know some, 
some companies they're just going to make it too expensive. Um, you know, right. it, it, this model this model is really meant. It, it, guess it's been used. Like I said, the Jets have five of them. The San Antonio Spurs. It's it's a quality piece. It can be used en- everywhere. But for the home gym market, they just want a better price. And and I I, I can. It was impossible for me. Like Titan selling, they launched their standalone base model with the seat, padded seat, all these beautiful details for fourteen ninety nine, and that can't that includes shipping. I was seventeen oh yeah. five plus two hundred and fifty dollars on shipping. So Titan's probably four hundred four hundred and fifty dollars less than me. And they made it with some bells and whistles. Like I, I never put a padded seat on it. I never had, you know, some quick release pop pins. So they made a high quality from what I can see, I've only used it for two hours. I'm I'm getting one from my own garage gym. They they didn't they did an amazing job on, on their version. So I just I just reached out to Titan. We're going to get into it. Obviously, I'm with all these pro teams. They're probably not going to buy from Titan. So I'm I'm working with a comp. I'm, I'm trying to get surplus strength. We're 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 working on a on what would be a pro model, a more you know um, just just a higher, heavier, uh, bigger model that. Because the the pro teams they don't care about utility. They just want to do belt squats. They just want to do belt squats on it. So I'm I'm hoping that there's going to be a pro model that surplus strength will will hopefully bring to the market in the next couple months uh, if things go well. But yeah, j- I just reached out to Titan just because knowing that they could probably, you know, make it at the, at the best price point. And, and I, I didn't real you know, the quality is outstanding though. Like it's, it's j- from what I can see without having used it for months, it's, it's as good as anything I made it myself. Got it. Um, yeah, I was going to ask you to go over the the um, additional features, but is there anything else that you didn't mention that you, you were really impressed by the unit? Um, I mean, just pr- pretty pretty much everything. Like even even the way um, they're they're still working on the attachments. The plan yeah. is for them to bring the chest pad, the hip thrust pin. Uh, no, j- just the, the overall unit. Like some of the some of the finishing touches. Uh, like I said, the, the 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 quick release pins for the uh, the box squat seat. Uh, they 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 use nylon. They've actually nylon coated their guide rod, which soundproofs it. Uh, I like it, but I'm still going back and forth. I'm, I I want to play with it more. You can always slide a PVC pipe, which what I do on on my own squat max. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna I'm gonna try both features. But no, just overall. Like a really like a really strong product, um, with, with 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 some bells and whistles. Like the padded seat. If I had a a dime for everyone that says, do do you sell a padded seat for this box squat seat? Uh, uh, they they have that standard, right? I was uh-huh. always telling people you can you can buy a stool, you can get a thirteen inch padded stool stool cover on Amazon. Uh, but yeah, I I, I wasn't able because I'm not. You know, I don't make all those products. I have to go to a fabricator. Yep. And even the pad system, like getting that made myself, outsourcing that in in in, in the United States, like it's an expense. That's why the, the product was, you know, price point where it was. It wasn't price. It wasn't price where I was. I wasn't doubling what that thing cost. I I, I mean, I was making maybe three hundred dollars a unit. I'll, I'll, I'll be straightforward, so people can do the math. If I sell five hundred units and I make three hundred at the end of the day. It's a great salary for for one person, Good, but yeah. but 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 my personal secretary, I, I can't fit her in on that on 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 that on that budget. Um, so yeah, I just I just reached out literally to Titan, um, just by chance, just because I I was impressed with the CEO and and felt that you know they you know everyone says Titan steals people's products, steals people's ideas. I, I think you and I exchange messages. I can only tell you they respect it and perfect it my intellectual property that that's my quote of the day whereas yeah. where, whereas the most popular company in the u.s barred my hip belt design and somehow my name disappeared to being the creator for it so i think everyone borrows a little bit from everybody it's not it, it's not as as black and white as 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 it was made Got it. For companies. Um, i still think lever arm belt spots are junk <laughs> I know you do. Um, 
Well, I know you, I mean, the way you described it too, like I'm using a lever arm belt squat. I, obviously yours is better. Um, but I, I don't really have a bad back or bad knees. So I don't think I'm the best person to be able to say too much about it. Um, um, okay. Next that, question. That, that I'm not gonna let you get out that easy, but that's why you look at the research studies. Right, so, right, you know, exactly. Slot, slot max has 50 percent more quad activity. So, and it works the VMO. So, if if you were trying to win a home gym uh, lifting competition, that you you probably want to be using squat max, right? Right now, it's yeah, it's just yeah. A, it's a, you know most of us lift for different reasons. Pro, it's it's our uh, for me, it's my Prozac, right? So, I <laughs> I could I couldn't get the same feeling like the being able to do a free weight like that roll feel like i'm going to get buried under under a free weight that that's something that once you acquire that taste when you can't do it anymore it it really sucks so yeah there's there, there, there's different reasons the yeah. lever arm has a place for someone that's just you know pussyfooting around in their garage gym and and passing time well so that, that might be a perfect thing that was my next question so like what it what is your what is your thoughts on like some someone like me in their 30s and i have very little space are you okay with me like getting this as like a beginner step into maybe one day i'll buy a squat max or is yeah. it like that's completely useless <laughs> uh Just be honest i don't care no I, I, <laughs> we, again i'm i'm so performance driven that it, yeah. it, it, you know like i wouldn't get i wouldn't buy like you some people love smith machines if you knew how many times i hurt my back on a Smith machine in the 1990s, because I thought it, that's how I learned about squat max. I, I, from my experiences, like being forced in a fixed position, like a Smith machine, that that's where squat max was developed from. Right. Well, I mean, that's why I was hoping, you know, wrote uh, that, that rack model that I had that, it, you know, can attach to the back of, of a squat rack would be a small, a smaller model. Again, it's, it's, right. it's all on, on your, on your experiences, right? If I'm, if I'm still alive when you're 53 or 54, we can ask, uh, we can ask this question <laughs> again, if you're still, <laughs> if you're still craving working out as much as, as, as I am. So. I think, I think I will hopefully. Um, all right. What about, um, so it was six days ago, Titan released kind of this like cryptic Instagram post. And it was clearly if, for anybody who's seen the squat max, they know it's the squat max. Um, and there were people like, Whoa, what is going on here? I, I, and then on Friday, they actually released it, which was four days ago. So I'd be curious to hear like, what has been the general community feedback since, since then? There's been, again, I'm not on all the forums that you, you, you I didn't even understand some of these forums. Like what is, I'm probably going to pronounce it wrong. Don't don't get mad because it might be yours. I don't even know. Like Reddit, what's Reddit? <laughs> um, Reddit is just like this um, forum. It's like an anonymous forum where you have kind of a hidden character, and it's like anonymously talking about certain things. Like there's yeah, yeah. So thousands and thousands of different topics, and there just so happens to be a home gym group with like hundreds of thousands of people yeah it's crazy like, like yeah even, even in like there's different forums on, on different places it seems like a lot of people are excited i'm just yeah i'm very thankful that people appreciate the design like that that that's what's amazing to me that you know because everyone oh every spell squats the design's the same the the the, the, the savvy buyer that's there must be a lot of guys walking around with bad knees and bad backs and, and love performance but no it's been it's it's been a great you know it's it's been a great um positive experience like the fact that they sold every they, they sold out in in two 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 and a half days uh titan did the you know I, I think that's that's probably the greatest indicator right uh a funny story i was probably selling 20 to 30 a month um when when i first did that deal with the, that company begins with the r and they're like oh we're we're thinking maybe we, we can sell 20 a month. Um, and I'm like, what do you mean? You're, this is when I knew some, something was not right. Like, what do you mean mm -hmm. the 20 a month? If I, no one knows I exist, I have, I have 15,000 followers at this point and I'm selling 30 a month, uh, whatever. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think they were just wanted to slow me down, but this, they have Titan sell a hundred of them 
in, in a weekend, it, it, it's just a great feeling because you think maybe I'm cuckoo. Who would invent a bell squat design like this? It's a little bit more labor intensive. Maybe I'm an idiot. Maybe don't people don't care about you know performance and feeling good. They just you know it's just busy work. But yeah, no, that that's been. I think it's pretty clear that it, there's some there's there's some there's some special there's some special things happening out there. So the reception's been been amazing. Super cool. Um, any anything else kind of in the works? You meant was there anything else you wanted to expand on with surplus strength? Yeah, or is, well, you mentioned. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, before I forget, what's great is you know Titan has added the two sleeves on the side of the of the main platform. The, the, you know, so they're for the chest pad for doing hip thrusts. But I can make any. I can continue to make attachments. You know, Titan's a bigger company to me. It, I can have an idea and the next day be up at my PA fabricator and say, let's make a plyo box or let's. Let, you know, dip, I'm just, I'm, I'm not, these aren't in the works necessarily. A dip bar, whatever it is, I can continue to add utility to the Titan made squat, squat yes. max, and I'll be able to sell that as an enhancement. So, you know, most companies create something and they're never going to add to it. That's what's cool about this Titan relationship because they went ahead and paid the extra money to, to add these, you know, these, uh, I don't know what to call them, you know what I mean? The sleeves. On yeah. the side for the tubing for the for the uprights, so yeah. th that's what's cool to me because I can I can continue to play you know play mad scientists like I, I want to add a weight stack I want to be able to to put weights on you know at, at home gym con which hopefully we can talk about a little bit I had that dip bar with me uh, that was a prototype for doing dips on squat max but that dip bar when I when I lowered that. I could I could use uh, use it as a weight tree. Mm. So that's what I that's what I'm missing on my squat max. I want to have a weight tree. So I might if Titan doesn't want to do it, I'll create a little weight tree that can go in one of those slots, and people can keep you know because you only need th that's the other thing. The the greatest lifters in the world, the guys that do 1100 pound squats, they only use 550 on squat max. So most of us are. If, if right. you're even if you're a 500 pound squat, plates, yeah. yeah, 200 pounds yeah. with band tension is going to be a more than enough workout for that. So 200 pounds just sitting right at the machine, just add some convenience. So things like that that I want to explore. But yeah, surplus strength. The goal is they they go back a little bit to to a, you know I don't even know what word a more industrial heavier model yeah. just because you know proteins. I, you know, a lot of military play, uh, bases that buy have bought squat maxes. They, they don't, they're probably only going to buy American made. And and surplus strength is such a, you know, uh, such a high quality company. So I think it'll be a perfect fit. Uh, I'm still banking on that Super Bowl run by Aaron Rodgers here because <laughs> I really think if they win a Super Bowl or you know that number one pick from the Spurs is shown using it, the the science. And the visual are going to are, fi are finally going to catch up. So I want to definitely. I, I spent my whole 12, 13 years chasing this thing, trying to get it out there to people that want to maximize performance. I definitely need, need a pro model just because it, it may finally happen where every NFL team wants five of them, yeah. and I want, want the ability to to, ha to have be able to give them that. So yeah, I, I see the pro model being more belt squat focus. It's not chasing the home gym utility mm -hmm. component. Um, I I have some things in my mind uh, that that I'm hoping that, that surplus strength can can throw in there, like just the ability. To, I love holding an empty bar um, with squat max because it gives me some upper body stimulation. Uh, so I I see something on like a pro model, just having some uprights where you can grab a unloaded bar or or, or do some things with it. So I, I see the pro the pro model definitely won't be doing. Um, yeah, hundred you know, seal, seal yeah. rows and all that yeah. stuff. Okay, yeah, cool. Um, well, what what were you gonna say about Home Gym Con? Well, first of all, what you've done with Home Gym Con, <laughs> you, you deserve a lot of credit, my man. It, it was an amazing experience. I, I was thrilled to be there at the first annual one this this past year. Um, and and what I'm hoping is now that the Titans making squat max. It's a no-brainer if it's if it's doing this well in the first weekend. I I I plan to make an appearance with Titan for for sure 
with my squat max, but it, it was an amazing, even I was obviously there as a, as a, as a vendor, but I, I would, I would be going back, even if I'm not able to present Titan, I think you're definitely going to have me this year <laughs> as a home gym owner, because it, I've never seen anything like that where the hands-on experience with so much, with so much equipment, like if you're a home gym enthusiast, enthusiast, it, it, there's nothing like that, that, that experience. So, so I, I thank you for that. Even personally, like meeting uh, Ashley, the, Ashley, the, the amazing, like she's been such an amazing proponent. Like I can show all the research studies in the world do this, but she's used squat max. I, I, I owe her so much. She, she's you since, since meeting me at home gym con, you know, she loved it so much. And to see her body over the last three months, like the, the separation, her hamstrings and glutes, like it, it's so much better having a, you know, professional, uh, IFBB and and she she's obviously has has all the certifications all the education behind it just the that's what I mean home gym con there, there's so much going on there as far as making connections the 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 the, the amazing equipment it's just it, it, I'm glad someone that you you were able to pull pull that off uh the, you know the, the, where it's specifically aimed at the the hundred thousand three hundred I don't have even know how many home gyms there are in the United States, but they finally have a place that, that they can go to. Well, thank you. Um, and yeah, I think like the, the, obviously year one wasn't like the crowds weren't packed. Um, but the, like just the amount of like networking that I saw was, was even more than I expected. It was like, everybody came out with 10, 20 new friends, um, of just like people that they could chat about with, um, within the industry, whether you're a vendor or even a person or just a, a an attendee. Um, so yeah. Um, and yeah, I think next year is going to be even better. So, uh, and, uh, and then, yeah, I, I definitely think Titan should bring the squat max. It's like the number one item people wanted to try before buying. Um, yeah, that, 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 that was, that was awesome. Like the, you know, the, 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 the guys that try squat max, like, I've gotten so much, you know, so, so much out of that. Uh, you know, even Kyle, like guys that can actually say hands on. Yeah. That's different than having got, you know, a lot of the reviewers, garage gym peer reviews that go on having guys like that say, yeah, that's different. Even, I don't even know what company it was. It was one of the companies that had a lever arm at, at, at home gym con. They uh -huh. came over to use squat max and said, yeah, that, that's a little the different. Bells of Steel, probably. I'm not, I don't know who it was, but... Okay, they, okay. <laughs> they, they knew as soon as they used Squad Max, they're like, that's a different animal. So that's really cool, right? That, that even other companies would 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 be able to, you know, say this this whole, this one man hole in the wall operation, that's a pretty good product. Yeah, there was definitely, like you were saying, the networking and the, the, the esprit de corps of, of dealing with people that, you know, th this is our addiction, right? Yeah. Uh, for, for a lot of us, th this is our thing. I, I guess if we were going to Vegas and, and it was like a Star Wars convention or something, we're we're we're, we're geeks with our with our own <laughs> Yep, yep. Uh, well, that's that is uh, that's all I've got. Um, I think this was really cool to hear, and I think I think most people can agree this is a the deal with you and Titan is seems like something that benefits all. I'm glad it um, is probably going to take a load off your shoulders. And I think it'll continue getting better with you of having more free time. So, um, and I know it probably took a lot of patience for you to get this job done because it was probably like a whole year, year and a half. I can't imagine just like waiting for this deal. Um, yeah, yeah. Just, just, so. <laughs> they're going back and forth with contracts. It's like, that, uh -huh. that, that's, that's my thing. But yeah, I'm anxious because it, it allows me to, free up you know my focus my henny product uh yeah. is doing really well and it, it's another thing that that i'm trying to get out to the public so it now gives me all those hours of trying to you know dealing with freight companies and, and some of the, the challenges of dealing with a big product like like squad max it allows me to see if i can can do the same thing with, with my other product the henny and and maybe i'll, I'll come up with some, something else now now to have a little bit more time to, well, to, to create I mean, it's, I mean, I think they're both like pretty, obviously the studies show for one and then the Henny attachment, I think for 
like the majority of home gym owners is a better option is an easy, better option than most, uh, jammer arms just because of how easy they are to use and how you can store them. And they're actually more versatile than jammer arms. So I can definitely see the market catching onto those, um, over the next few years as well. Well, I'm going to give, I'm going to give my best shot. I, I appreciate <laughs> it. And, and I thank you for, for giving me this opportunity you know, when did, was our podcast a year, year ago, year and a half ago? Uh, I think it was, it must've been about a year it, ago. Yeah. I don't know. Th- time's running. I don't know if it was two years. Like th- I appreciate this, all these opportunities you've given me w- to give me this forum to, to share, share some information. So thank you again, my man. Of course. Um, well, thanks everybody for listening. I will plug the description or uh, sorry, the, uh, in the description, I'll plug the links to the products and then also the link to the first podcast, which I definitely think you all should check out as well. Um, And that's going to do it. All right.